This is Ify here live on Dashiki Diaries. We are at APC Hollywood, sitting here chilling with the one and only Mr. Shay Brown. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can everybody hear me? My check, one, two. My check. One, two. My check. All right. The, one of the kings of comedy, as we all already know. We're so glad to have you here. Is, I'm sure this is not, is this your first time in Hollywood? Well, I live here. Jesus. So I'm hosting. Yeah, this is my base, you know, and uh, APC train, you know, this is my town, you know, my city for the first time, so I'm here to support my brothers, you know. And, of course. You know, they, they're doing great things, and, um, you know, hey, the least I can do is just come out here, show support, and, you know, blast everything, you know. Of course, of course. Of course. And history is about to be made tonight, <laughs> so I'm happy I'm, I'm a part of that history. And everyone's been saying that history is about to be made tonight, and I, I do believe that because it's so crazy. You never get to have all these big names. Some of the, you guys are the hugest comedians in, in, in the USA. I think it's safe to say that. I think we can all agree on that. You guys are the biggest comedians out there, and you're all here in the same room performing for the same crowd. History has already been made. Already. You're, you're seasoned. You're a seasoned comedian. So this is not your first rodeo. But do you ever get nervous when it comes time to performing in front of a crowd? If it is um, a terrain that you're not familiar with, of course you develop butterflies in your tummy and you're like, okay, all right, how would they receive me? You know, with my set, make the kind of impact it's been making, you know, especially if your audience are kind of mixed. You have African Americans, you have white folks, you have Nigerians, you have people from the Caribbean. So you have to use the right, you know, like language, lingo, terminologies, you know what I'm saying, because it just has to be right. Punchline has to be right and all. Yeah, I mean, once in a while you do, you know. But once you get on, you know, it's like a plane taking off, once you get on an altitude, it only goes up from there, huh? You just keep, you know, flowing, you know. Once you see, once you crack the first one, I see naked booty in front of me right now. Once you crack the first one, and it's going on, I, you know, this is a Hollywood where, you know, things like this have been legalized. I don't want to see naked booty in front of me, you know, especially from a man. A man's naked booty. Okay. It's like uh, if, you, if you've uh, you know probably gone uh, backstage uh, for a comedy show before, yeah, these are the kind of things you see. No, you see, you see I didn't even move my but I was not surprised. Yo, you, you, you look like you are used to it. I just ignored him. Your, your eyes have seen. <laughs> my eyes have seen some serious things, you guys. I'm, I just ignored him, ignored him. But T-I-N-Z. <laughs> back to us, back to Shay Brown. All right. Uh, another question I wanted to ask you is, you know, I love seeing you collaborating with a bunch of comedians and maybe even artists. I mean, there is no stop to your collaboration. I think it's safe to say you've kind of touched every element of entertainment. Do you have any collaborations coming up that we should be looking out for that we, you know, maybe just a little a little sneak peek of something that we should be anticipating coming up with you and maybe another artist or another comedian, something like that? In the past, I have, you know. You know. But uh, the next thing is uh, my one-man show. I want to do a one-man show, like one-hour live, you know, one-hour stand-up, the way Americans do it. You by yourself, one hour, non-stop, non-stop laughter, non-stop action. That's what's next for me. So you guys watch in the next 90 days, you're going to hear about it. A new cable TV will be uh, bankrolling that. And we'll start from New York. Uh, we're going to go to Vegas, coming here to LA, Miami, Orlando, um, Chicago, some cities, you know, like when I remember them, but yeah, it's going to be a nationwide tour. Please, please, I only have one question. How do I become a part of that? I just want to be in your luggage as you guys are just going <laughs> to all, all these cities. Yes, we'll be coming as one of our media partners, you know. So you guys will yeah, yeah. be ready to... We have exclusive backstage, you know, backstage access, you see what goes on backstage. When the comedian is like prepping up, you know, like uh, gathering momentum before he comes on stage, like, yeah. You know, some people will just shadow box. Some people just jog, you know. Some people just believe that, like, about flash, thing like a bee, let me just go right there and do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, you see all that, you know. So people look up to you. It's a known fact. So what do you have to say to the folks that are watching you out there that, you know, maybe they want to be comedians or they want to pursue this career, but mommy and daddy will slap them if they even say the word, if they even say anything like that. What do you have to say coming from an African background with African parents, but this is, this is who you are now? Well, whatever you do, you have to do with a passion. If the passion is not there, you will lack steam, you know, but if you have a passion for it, if when you wake up, that's the first thing you're thinking about. When you're sleeping, you're dreaming about it, 
you see yourself performing, you see yourself entertaining people, that you're meant to do. You try out with families and everybody, you keep cracking people up everywhere you go, you know. Just clowning, you know. I, I mean, I found out this while I was in what you guys call middle school, you know. I just... What, what, wait, sorry, what we call middle school? What do you call it? We call it a GSS3. <laughs> You guys call it middle school, you know, in the yes. middle of the school, yeah. So I just, I just, I just wanted to clown every time, you know. When, whenever the teacher leaves the class, I want to go in front of the class and be clowning, mimic the teachers, you know, impersonate, you know, people. And so I just knew someday, you know, this is what I would be okay. doing. So I guess the, the, the idea here is passion driven. We want to make sure everything you do is passion driven and there's a lot of passion for it. Because if you say, I want to do it for the money, you know, if you don't get the money, then you will change it. And that's why a lot of people started it, and um, they're not getting the kind of money they want, Africa they will leave. Stop chasing money. Use your I mean, passion. You see, with time, you know, when your talent speaks for you, people will pay for that talent. You know. See, let me tell you, I read something recently that uh, if you perform more than you're paid, very soon, you'll be paid more than you perform. You guys, I believe in Shea Brown. You guys believe in Shea Brown, though. Words, wise words from Shay Brown, one of the kings of comedy. So Kevin had the same thing, and look at where he is right now. Hmm. Wow. I believe in you. Yeah. This is so dope. I've had such a great time chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> this is my Zen move. Yeah, Before I go on stage. That's the word. We like to use that word. Vibe. That's, vibe. that's the word, right? Oh, yeah. Vibe. Yeah. All right. This is Shay Brown. Signing off on Dashiki Diary. Don't touch that dial. Keep watching Dashiki Diary. I'm wearing a jacket, but just imagine. It's